What's up guys, it's your boy LAJ back at it again with another video and I am stoked, excited, exhilarated. It's Gavin Lux season. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Good? Yeah. So he might play a pivotal role not only in the month of September and trying to get into the postseason, but actually be in the postseason. Gavin Lux is going to be the fourth prospect called up from the Dodgers organization that was drafted in 2016, joining Dustin May, Tony Gonsolin, and Will Smith. And so far, those three guys that have been called up have contributed and exceeded expectations right off the bat this year. Dustin May was a top prospect, not in the top 10. Uh, Tony Gonsolin was, was in the top 100 prospects, but not a top 10. And so was Will Smith, but not a top 10. So as you know, Gavin Lux is a top prospect, not only in the Dodgers pipeline, but also in Major League Baseball's farm system total so why am i hyped so much about gavin lux and the other question is why are the dodgers bringing up another bat rather than a pitcher so pitching wise just like in the video that i posted before and i'll leave the link here or somewhere around here the, the little note basically it just seems as though the dodgers are going to go kenta maeda julio urias or Ross Stripling, maybe Dustin May, Tony Gonsolin right off the bench. Maybe Dustin May, maybe because he's been a little bit of a struggle off the bench. And hopefully he turned, I mean, it seemed like he's better after that line ball, line drive hit him straight in the head. But I think that's the way the Dodgers are going to go this postseason. And to be honest, that's a pretty unhittable pen. As for second base, Max Muncy suffered that fracture, so he's going to be out a couple of weeks. Both Kike Hernandez and Chris Taylor are fresh off the DL and they're mostly platooning the shortstop position, outfield and second base. So there might be a combination there where Gavin Lux is not going to play second base every single day unless he start off right off the bat getting four home runs and he's un he's, you know, unstoppable right off the bat. But I, you know, for the most part, they want to test out, see how Gavin Lux performs and contributes down in second base and if he can handle it at a major league level. There's also Jed Jerko. And to be honest, he, he looked pretty good yesterday in Arizona at second base, his natural position. But do we really want to roll with uh, Buck 158 or 185, whatever he may be hitting uh, down the stretch and having our offensive you know, weakness be that person? Not necessarily. Plus, our future is Gavin Lux. So that's mainly a big reason why he might be called up and given that shot. Also, today is Oklahoma City's last game of the regular season. Unfortunately, they didn't make the playoffs, but they did have a good season. And they promoted a lot of good players right off the, right off the, the farm system. So to answer the question of why am I so hyped about Gavin Lux, let's dive into some of that offensive onslaughts that he's put on both in AA and AAA because he made a huge leap in less amount of time. He jumped from AA Tulsa to AAA OKC and started mashing that ball. In 64 games at Tulsa, he was almost three years younger than the rest of the player's average age and he had four triples, 13 home runs, a 313 batting average, and an 896 OPS. Now, you thought that was good? Wait just one quick minute. It got so much better in Oklahoma. He is five years younger than the average age in AAA, and in 49 games, less time in less time, he hit four triples, 13 home runs, a 392 batting average, and a 1,197 OPS. Man, was he murdering the ball. He was a def an offensive juggernaut all by himself, and everybody was seeing what this kid was about, and pretty much everybody had their eyes on him. And see, here's the thing. I'm not mad that Andrew Friedman didn't trade for Felipe Vasquez or made a huge trade for, let's say, a Jacob deGrom or Noah Syndergaard, whatever the case may be, a relief pitcher, because everybody wanted Gavin Lux. I'm cool with it. If we're going to go Maeda, Stripling, Urias, or, you know, May, Gonsolin, or a combination of everybody, I'm cool with it. I would have loved to keep this kid 100% of the time, 100 out of 100 times out of the day. If Gavin Lux is included in any sort of con a trade contract or trade negotiation, as a closed door. None. Nope. So let me compare him to Cody Bellinger, the league's MVP, 43 home runs, batting over 300, and just still defensive juggernaut out in the outfield, and he plays multiple positions. Now, 
a small sample size that Cody Bellinger gave us in 2017 before he was promoted into, I guess you could say, because Adrian Gonzalez got injured and we need to fill that void, just like Max Muncy got injured and we need to fill that void. So a little taste of the comparison. Compared to Cody Bellinger, in 19 games in 2017 before he was called up, he hit six home runs, 19 RBIs, a 343 batting average, and a 1,077 OPS. Gavin Lux gave us a larger sample size than Bellinger, and he performed better than Bellinger, the league's MVP. So again, I'm hyped. I'm super stoked. And yes, I'm going to set the bar super high and my expectations above that. And every player that's coming that is not a top 10 prospect in MLB or the Dodgers pipeline is definitely setting the bar high. And given what Gavin Lux has done in AAA and AA and just killing it, I expect him to have a great game, but that's just me. What do you guys think Gavin Lux is going to do today coming up, playing his first major league game? What do you think his, his first hit's going to be? Is it going to be a single, double, triple, home run? And what are your expectations for Gavin Lux? Will he make the postseason roster? Because Dave Roberts was asked a candidate for a postseason roster, and he answered with, in some capacity. So, again, hyped, excited. Get ready. It's Gavin Lux season. Hope you guys are prepared. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment all your thoughts on this whole pipeline that's going on and everybody that's coming up and what you're excited to see today. Um, with that being said, I'm LAJ and I'll see you guys next time.